Hi guys, it's Dominique and I'm back and my hair is completely soaked. So I just went ahead and rinsed my um, conditioner out and um, I have my trusty old t-shirts that I use to dry my hair with, guys. A good reason why it's good to use an old t-shirt versus a towel, a towel causes friction, which causes frizz, and it aids in um, breakage. It's too harsh on the hair. So a t-shirt is nowhere near as harsh, or you can use a, if you don't have a t-shirt you want to use, you can use a paper towel. You can also use a microfiber towel, which are great. So I'm just drying my hair now. Come in. It's so clean, dude, and it's so soft. So, 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 so soft, which I love. Rainwater is amazing. You know how it feels. If you've ever stand, stood out in the rain or got your hair wet while it was raining, have you ever felt your hair after that? It feels so good. So, all right. Now that it is dry, I'm sorry, <laughs> dry, but not soaking and spilling down my face, I'm going to show you how I apply my leave-in. I'm going to use Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner, and I'm going to squirt a little bit and rub it into my hands and apply it to each plant. And I really saturate it in, guys. You want to capture that water, which is one of the best emollients, while it's still there. Water evaporates extremely quickly. And with it being so hot, you really want to make sure you saturate it in. Or, I'm sorry, seal it in. Make the escape process slow. Then, once I've applied my leave-in, which is water-based, which is my water-based moisturizer, I'm going to apply my Maddie Butter. And I usually tell people an amount, but because everyone's hair and thickness and density is different, you can kind of feel your hair to see if it's moisturized or not. Learn how to feel it, read it, and see when it's moisturized. Mine, of course, is going to need a lot more than a person who has very fine hair. Um, a person with thick hair is going to need a little bit more than a person with thinner hair. So everybody's measurements are different. One done. That's it. On to the next one. Number two. I'm applying my Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner as my leave-in. And the reason why I apply my Natty Butter afterwards is because the Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner is my leave-in for my moisture. So I have water plus my leave-in, but I want to make sure I seal that in. I want to seal it in, okay? I, can't, I would never ever just apply my Natty Butter to dry hair. The equivalent of that would be like if you have a dry hand and you put a plastic glove on top and then you put lotion on top of the glove. Well, you haven't moisturized your hand. The hand is still ashy and you, it just feels greasy. It feels like it's sitting on top. So that's it. And guys, this is it. I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my whole head. This took me about 15 minutes, which is excellent. If you choose to, you can take each one down and um, moisturize or you can detangle if you choose. If not, you don't have to. And that's it, guys. That is the plat washing method. I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed the video. Um, again, hit me on my blog at www.allthingsonatural.blogspot.com. And I hope to see you there, guys. Thank you. Hi, guys. It's Dominique coming back at you. And as you can see, I have already begun taking my plaits down from my plat washing method. So let me show you really quick how I take the style down. And you can rock it any way you like. Um, sometimes I'll rock my bohemian chic with the braided band um, once I've taken my hair down from the plait. And if you're not familiar with that style, I actually have a video on it on my YouTube page uh, titled Bohemian Chic, inspired by Natural85, who's one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. So let me show you really quick how I take my plaits down. I have my water with my peppermint oil. I spritz each plait, and I mean just maybe two sprays. You don't want to wet it. You don't want to get it that wet. And then I immediately apply my Au Natural Nanny Butter. The reason why I do this, guys, is because it's so hot outside, 
that sun can really give your hair a beat down. So I just like to protect it even more with extra moisture. It doesn't mean it wasn't moisturized from the night before. It just means that I want to give it some extra moisture. So I spritz it, apply my Au Natural Natty Butter, and unravel. Another good thing about water is that um, if you saw any of my previous videos, and I want to always reiterate that, it's one of the best emollients out there. The only downfall is that water evaporates so quickly, so you have to make sure you capture it before it evaporates. So that's why I immediately seal with my Eau Natural Natty Butter. Now my hair is even more moisturized, even more soft, and even more protected from that hot sun that I'm about to go out to. So guys, this is it. This is this is the flat washing method. Like I said, you can style it any way you like. I'm just going to let mine free flow because the curls will kind of fall apart as the day go out. And you can give it a shake if you like. And uh, <laughs> rock it that way. But this is it, guys. Um, that's it. You can, Like I said, you can style it. You can do anything you want. The plaits are pretty defined. And that's another good thing of using the plait washing method. It's already style for you. So I'm going to do a quick uh, 360 and let you see what it looks like in the back. And like I said, I haven't fluffed or anything. I just basically took the plaits down. Um, I'm going to spray my rose water. It smells so good. And then I'm going to turn around and let you guys see it. See you in a moment. So as you can see, guys, that's it. Um, that's all to it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was very informative for you. And until the next how-to video, guys, I'll see you later.